Hey there, it's Sarah Sanders with The Thyroid Trainer and I'm coming at you today with a requested full body Hashimoto's workout. We are working the entire body. The good news is we're just doing body weight today. This is a really good workout to take with you when you're traveling or you have a small space to work out in or you don't have weights with you. You can always add weights if you want, but it's not necessary. Um, so again, like and subscribe to see more of my videos. I will put some links into the bottom of this. You can check out my website, my Instagram. I have a really awesome free guide, Six Steps to Lose Weight with Hashimoto's, and a really fun group program that I'm doing called HashiFit. It's a six week fitness and health program all about getting your Hashimoto's symptoms gone and building that lean muscle mass so you can burn fat and lose that stubborn hashy weight. We're having a lot of fun in the program, so come join us. I'd love to see you there, and let's get into it. No weights needed today. Just grab some water, and let's do it. All right, let's just warm up the body really quick before we jump into this total body, body weight workout. And again, this will not be the last time you hear me say this, but whenever you're working out with Hashimoto's, listen to your body if something feels off if it feels too hard don't do it take a break you always want to have a nice rest break when you're working out with Hashimoto's and let the body recover you know our body is already working so hard as it is and we don't want to push it too much but we do want to build that lean muscle because that is what burns fat and we want to continue to get stronger so we don't lose muscle mass and that we keep it going, keep our bones nice and strong, our body nice and strong, and reach our health goals. So today we have a fun workout. It is five moves. We're gonna start standing, and then we're gonna move it onto the floor at the very end. So whenever you're ready, just give me a little step and push. We'll do 10 of these four. Just get that heart rate up. You never wanna work out cold. And then we're gonna go over the head, reaching up, getting nice and warm, seven and eight. All right, to start, we are coming into a squat. So it's gonna be a four, four, one squat. We're gonna lower for four counts, hold for four counts, and then stand up on one. So I want you to, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one. Exhale as you stand, inhale. Two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four, two, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four, three, inhale. Hold, one, two, three, four. Four, you're halfway done. Four more like this. Should be feeling it in those quads. Awesome, nice tight core as we're coming back. You can have your hands up front on your hips, whatever feels good. Six, last two. Sitting back into that imaginary chair. Seven, I'm already feeling it. One, nice tight core. And eight, nice. Do a little quad stretch here. Let the heart rate come down a little bit. Just let all that work go in the legs. We're going to give the legs a break. We're gonna drop it down for push-ups. So, you can do them full out, you can do them on a wall. I'm gonna do mine on my knees because it feels really good for me. Nice, wide hands. I like to angle my thumb and forefinger in a little bit, drop the hips down, and then we're just lowering to the ground. Two counts, inhaling here. Exhale, one. Two. Three. Four, six, doing great, hang in there. Just 
Give me two more here. Nine. Ten. Nice. Come back into a nice child's pose. <sighs> Let all that go. All right, and then we're going to come up for another lower body move. Give the upper body a break for a second. So we're going to do a curtsy lunge, bringing that leg back and across, both hip point, point, both hip bones pointed forward. Drop that back knee, back to standing, and then we switch. Facing inhale, exhale. Doing great. Three left here. And 12. Nice. Take a nice breather here. Grab some water and meet me back for the second half of this workout. All right, we are dropping it down for the second half of this workout. And then we're doing this all one more time. So two more times through of these five moves. This is the second half of the circuit. We are coming down into a side plank. These are one of the best core moves for your body. They're really tough, so you have two options here. We're gonna come down onto your forearm. You want your shoulder right over your elbow, and you can either keep your knees bent, and you can lift the hips from here, or you can extend the legs. You can lift the hips from here. You can also put that top leg in front, and you can lift the hips from here. So you choose. I'm gonna do the third option. We're just gonna do eight on each side. So whenever you're ready, big inhale, exhale, up, inhale, exhale. Nice, you wanna try and get those hips as high as you can. Really feel that core strength through here, that side body, those obliques. Inhale as you come down, exhale as you come up. Doing great. The last two on the right side. And relax, nice. Just take a second here. Do a nice little side bend stretch. Really feel that good stretch in your side. And then we'll just switch it to the left. So again, always make sure your body's nice and aligned. We don't wanna force our shoulder joint you know, to carry too much weight here. We want it right over the elbow. And then the legs are shooting out from the hips here. I like to have my hand up. You can have it on the floor to help you. Inhale, exhale. Eight on this side as well. Four, you're doing great. Five. And take a break whenever you need. You can always jump back in. You can always pause the video. I'm not going anywhere. Seven. The last one here. And eight. Amazing. Let's bring it back to seated position. And stretching overhead. Good. Stretch into that left side. All right. Now the fun part. We get to lay on our backs. Upper body gets to rest. We are working into the glutes. So, I'm gonna kick my dumbbells out of the way. Filming lots of videos today. Okay, this one's fun. Hang with me here. Extend that right leg straight. We're doing a single leg bridge with that left foot on the ground. Big inhale here. Exhale, press up and back down. Just lightly tap the ground. Don't come all the way back down to rest. Inhale as you come down. Exhale as you come out. Six, seven, eight. Two more here. I want you to hold at the top, and we're doing 10 little pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ooh, eight, nine, 10. Feeling it. Hug those knees in. Give a nice little circle to one side and then the other. All right, we just have that right leg to do here. Right foot comes down flat. 
Left foot is up to the ceiling. Big inhale here. Use that breath. Exhale. Whew. And tap. Press. Tap. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. You got this. Last two. Then we're holding four pulses. Go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Nice. And relax. Whew. You guys are doing great. Circle those knees around. You can do a little figure four stretch here. We really just dug into those glutes. So you want to stretch them out so they don't get super tight. And then we'll switch legs here. You can also feel free to grab some water. Nice, feel that stretch. So give me a big inhale. Exhale, push that knee away and feel everything just relax. And uh, nice, rock up to seated. Good news is we are halfway through this workout. Go ahead, grab some water here. Meet me back for round two and we're going to have some fun. All right, everyone, round two of this full body, body weight. Hashimoto strength workout. We are starting with those 441 squats. So remember, nice tight core. We are sitting back. Big inhale here. Four, three, two, one. Hold four. Nice tight core. And one. Eight of these total. Four, three, two, one. Hold four, three, two, one, two. Four, three, two, one. Hold four, three, two, one, three. We're using an isometric hold at the very bottom of this movement. This gives your muscles a little bit more work than a regular squat. Hold four, three, two, one, five. Let's do three more. One, two, three. Four, hold, four, three, two, one. Hold one, two, three, four. Six, last two. Hold one, two, three, four. Already feeling it, last one. This is when you know it's working. Hold four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, shake those legs out. Definitely feeling it in my quads. So again, when we are working the muscles and building lean muscle mass, you never really wanna do the same exact workout every time because your muscles have memory and they adapt to stimuli very well. Muscles are very smart and they wanna make everything easier. So that's why we give them different moves to do. We either add weight, we take away some stability. In this case, we're adding that isometric hold. So doing eight squats with an isometric hold is gonna be much more challenging than just doing regular eight squats. So I kind of like to put in isometric holds every now and then just to change it up, keep my body guessing <laughs> so it's never adapting. Do the same move, same thing with those push-ups that are coming up so whenever you're ready, last round here, we're gonna drop it down. Let's do 10 of these. Two counts down, big exhale, pushing up. Let's come back to the top. We are here, ready? Big inhale. One. Two. And take these at your own pace. You don't have to follow me. Four. Almost there, last three. Nine. And 10, Woo. Give me a nice child's pose here. You can thread one arm underneath 
I'm kind of stretching through that shoulder here. That feels really good. Thread the other arm underneath. Stretch here. And then we'll bring it back to standing. Do one more round of those crossover lunges. I almost was like, what are we doing? Crossover lunges. Okay, so legs wide. Remember, hip bones pointed center. And we are bringing one foot back, dropping that back knee down, back to center, and then switch. These are a really great lunge to do. They're really good at toning the hips and the glutes. So I like to use these a lot. Doing great. Inhale. Exhale as you push up. Two more here. And relax. Nice. Shake it out. Grab some water. We have two moves left. On the ground, that side plank, the glute bridges, and then we're done. You guys are doing awesome. Grab some water and meet me back here for the last of this workout. All right, welcome back. Two more moves to go and then you are done. This is just a nice, quick, full body, body weight, strength workout for Hashimoto's. You can always add weights if you want to, you know, hold the weight at the chest for the squat or the crossover lunges, but this is always great just to do body weight. You know, we can do a lot of good work with body weight. And then, you know, use this when you're traveling. Save this, really easy to do in a small space, in a hotel room, wherever you are. So let's get back into it. Let's, I'm gonna start with my left side for the side plank. And this time I'm gonna have my feet stacked. So remember, elbow right over that shoulder, arm up, big exhale as we press up. Inhale, exhale. Five, let's do 10 on each side for this set. I think we can do it, seven. Last one, and 10, nice. Remember, we get a nice stretch in the middle. Oh, that feels good. With Hashimoto's, it's really great to stretch in between each strength move that you're doing. It just really lets the heart rate come down, the body relax a little bit, so you're not push, 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 go, go, go. You know, back before I had Hashimoto's, I, I've been a trainer for a long time, and I did circuit training. I, you know, it was, that's how you burn fat, typically. Um, you just do one move after the other, after the other, and then you will put in some cardio bursts there, and I really had to relearn how to train my body when I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's eight years ago because the way I was working out before was pushing me into fatigue and I couldn't recover and I was just so tired. And that's how I discovered, you know, lots of rest. You don't have to work out as hard. Even five, 10, 15 minutes, once or twice a week, sometimes all we need. And just really listening to your body and giving it a break because it is doing so much for us. With that little pep talk, let's go into the right side. <laughs> okay, elbow under the shoulder, arm up, exhale. Nice job, we're halfway down. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. Let's do a nice little side stretch here. And we just have that last glute move. And then we are done. So let's turn on to your back. Extend that left leg, right foot on the ground. We're pushing up for 10 here. Exhale to tap. Inhale down. Exhale, push. Inhale, relax. Five. Take it 
take it nice and slow. Six, seven, eight. You got this. Last two. Hold at the top. Ten, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Really feeling that in my glutes. <sighs> Just relax here for a second. And then you will switch legs. I think I just heard. All right, we're gonna go into that second side. Right leg up, exhale, two, three, four. Seven, last three, two, hold at the top. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, and relax, nice. Just circle the knees side to side. And when you're ready, you can come on up. I think I just heard my daughter wake up from a nap. So this was perfect timing. <laughs> Thank you again for joining me for this full body workout. I love making these videos for you. I love reading your comments and your feedback. It really like keeps me going because I love sharing this knowledge with everyone. So thank you for being here. Like and subscribe if you haven't already so I can keep putting out these videos for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Grab some water, give yourself a nice rest. And you can always find me at The Thyroid Trainer or at my website, thethyroidtrainer.com if you need more individualized help.